Um, my name is Eddie Vizcaya. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I'm representing Trident Knights this year. And this is actually my second time entering, so. Congratulations. Yeah. Now, tell us about the Trident Knights. Uh, Trident Knights is um, a great club. Uh, we've I met them last year when I was here and went to their um, their run, which they held here every year in August. And they were impressed with me last year, so they asked me to represent them this year. Excellent. And but, what, is the, what does the Trident Knights do? Um, actually, they do uh, a lot of charity work. Um, you're a good, good old-fashioned leather club. <laughs> right. Well, how'd you, how'd you get involved in leather? Um, actually, it was a neighbor guy um, that I used to live with, uh, live next to. Um, he was into it, and his boy apparently couldn't do it, and so he asked me to do, <laughs> to kind of step in for this contest. And, and once I walked into that leather bar, I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like about it? Oh, just I think at that point it was just the most of the people, most of the gay people I've seen basically at that point were the very fe effeminate, kind of very flamboyant in the eighties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, but and then you see all these, you know, actual real-looking, you know, men. <laughs> Leather helps too. <laughs> Leather helps a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's been your uh, biggest surprise about about this whole run for the contest? Uh, the snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I'm from Florida. This is the first time I've ever seen snowfall. Seriously? Yes. Wow. What do you think? Uh, it looks better in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good point. Have you got involved in a snowball fight yet? Uh, no. Okay. I threw one, but that was it. And <laughs> I. Watch them build a uh, snowman outside. <laughs> oh, they built a snowman. <laughs> yes, it's outside. It's over in the back. Did they put a leather cap on it? They um, they took a, they put a leather cap on it. They made a little face, and um, we're just waiting for to see who else is going to add certain objects to it later. <laughs> if, you were, if you were adding objects, what would you add? Oh, I'd have to go grab one of those toys and just you know. <laughs> I think that'll be inevitable. Make them, you know. I'm sure. I'm sure that snowman will be well hung by the end of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt. Now, if you could give one word of advice to people out there that are thinking about leather leather community, about you know getting into leather and stuff, what would you what would you tell them? Any advice I would tell them? Um, I would I would advise um, come in with an open mind. That's one thing I would you know come in with an open mind and. If not, if you've never been involved with any type of leather, you always have the right to say no, mm. and it will be respected. If, mm. if they're true, if they're true leather, if you say no, that means no. Right. And you know, take your time because there's so many different things, and you know, from one extreme to the other, and you know, I would, you know, wouldn't let one experience change it, you know change your mind on it. But. Now, if you could change one thing about our community, what would you change? Mm, I would say the way sometimes we get all divided. Uh, I mean, there's so much, there's so much more that we could do if we all kind of stuck together as opposed to you know, just all the, petty, the pettiness of it. Because sometimes, like, well, I don't like these people because of this, and I don't like these people because of that. And, you know, <laughs> you know, outside of this, we're all human. Mm. You know, and it's not that hard to, you know. I mean, we all have our differences, but you know, at the end of the day, it's, you know, we can do a, we can do a thousand times more things if we all just kind of work together. Seems simple, doesn't it? Yes, <laughs> it's a simple concept, but it's, apparently not everybody can, you know grasped onto it, so <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> All right, so let's move to a Sunday, and okay. you've won a Mr. SCCC Leather. What are you going to do with your year is that, with that title? Oh, gosh. I've already got so much stuff in the works right now. Um, actually, I'm, I'm already, I've already planned um, 
I'm going to be co-producing a contest in Orlando, Florida. Uh, it's either going to be the second or third, or the third or fourth weekend of July. Um, got with a, one of the bars there, and there wasn't, a, there wasn't a whole other contest, so I'm, they're now becoming a part of the SECC. Um, already got that in the works, and I plan on traveling quite a bit. Because the thing is, I know there's a lot there's a lot more leather clubs in the southeast that probably aren't familiar with or or know much about the SECC. So I plan on doing a lot of traveling and promoting. That, that's what I love to do. So. <laughs> yeah. And if you had, I was I, I like to ask this question. If you had your magic wand, and you could buy it. You could weigh, weigh, the, weigh the magic wand, and you have a ticket to anywhere in the world. Where would you go, and what would you do once you got there? I know what I would really do, but <laughs> I don't know if that's what you want to hear. I want to hear whatever you whatever you oh. really do. Oh, I want to go to London. Yeah, and do what? Just explore the city. Start stalking the spice girls, and um, <laughs> <laughs> that's S T A L K I N G. Yes. Right? Stalking the spice girls, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's my guilty pleasure. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, guilty about that. But it's just. You know, I, the thing is, I've always wanted to go over there. I, you know, everything I've ever seen, read, you know, it's just like, I just know that's going to be like, probably one of the best things I ever do, which I've been planning for years to come, you know, years to go, but then to like, you know, get, get all the money saved up. Oh, I need a new roof. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just one of those things. It's like, all of a sudden it's like, oh, got to get my car worked on. <laughs> you know, like, get some way. Yeah. But I will get there. Stock spice girl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, a question: Did the judges ask anything tonight that surprised you? Anything out of left field? Mm. I think the, um, I, one judge asked me about um, basically, you know, the really kind of going description about a fantasy that would actually give me a Woody or whatever that I've experienced or whatever, but I. Well, actually, since one of the judges was female, I just I I just kind of clammed up a bit because you know, I I you know I know her and respect her. I think she's a wonderful person, and I don't like to for, you know I guess it was the way I was brought up. I don't like to get graphic in front of in front of women. But I I think it's you know kind of disrespectful. I hear you. <laughs> I was raised the same way. So <laughs> so anyway, uh, any last words of advice for our uh, listeners out there in leatheraudio.com land? Mm. Well, if if you're watching this and you ha and you haven't been to an SECC function, you're missing out on a lot. You definitely need to come <laughs> next year when there's no snow. Oh yes, next year when there's no snow. Um, <laughs> if any, well, actually, um, I know in August Friday Nights is having another run. Um, they're a great club. I know Onyx is having. A, 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 I know they had one last October, but I'm not sure if they're doing another one again this year. But um, a lot of the runs from all the clubs in SECC are a lot of fun and you won't be disappointed. Cool. Good and you'll see me there. <laughs> Excellent. Well, good luck on the rest of the weekend. All right. Thank you so all much. Right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you.